Yoink. Hello everyone, welcome back to Altruist Plays Sky Vaults. I am Altruist and I am here to announce I finally found a second villager. We need another villager because we want to breed villagers that will help us with farms and that will help us with enchanting. But what I really want to do is build out... I had a dream. I, I kid you not, I did have a dream in which my villagers lived in a sort of floating stone temple thing. So I have a good idea about what I want it to look like. So uh, let's get cracking on building. So I, I forgot to unpause the recording. I did win a spider though. I built this much. And oh look, by the way, I won an elytra from uh, Raw Vault. You can find elytras in Raw Vaults, which is brilliant. Um, this got me complacent, get lost, because it made me believe that I can <laughs> recover if I fall off the edge. Wrong. I died. I fell off. You see, in the multiplayer series, if I dash with my elytra on, I can recover more height than I lost whilst it was recharging. <laughs> and this one, no. Because this is only level, what, one? Only level one dash. You need level two dash, maybe level three dash to be able to do that. It didn't work. So I spent most of the recording that I didn't do building that. On the other hand, I have now built this. And this is really good because it means that I have a staircase to basically pick any level of the world that I like and build out a platform. So that's going to be really helpful when it comes to spawners. Um, animals will spawn further down and mobs will spawn possibly further down. So if I need to sort of do an AFK farm and, and hang out and wait for passive mobs to, to spawn, voila, that's how you're going to do that. Um, and then the other thing was that I started building this because, actually, I just noticed it down here. It's got a similar concept, you see, the uh, floating island thing. I started doing that, but the amount of vault stone that it takes to do that is insane. Apart from the fact I spent most of it on that staircase. I've just been into the raw vault and spent maybe 10 minutes just digging out as much of this stuff as I could possibly find. I say that. I went into the first room that had a lot of it and just kept going, and then I quit. Um, but look, I have got nearly three stacks of this stuff. That is more than I've seen in my life. That's a ridiculous amount. All from just mining this stuff. So I've got enough, but it is a little bit tedious. So I think what I'll continue to do then is, in this case, I, I, I think I'll make this a facade, basically. It's going to look a little bit like a floating island, and I will finish it off over time. But what I need is a platform. And I could spend my entire life making the platform look nice and then never actually build the platform. So let's start with a flat thing and then build the underneath, more underneathy at that point. I'm noticing on the map that it's showing me every level. Because <laughs> you can see that big stick going off to the left to the west, and there's a wooden platform down there that I use to recover my body, which mercifully does spawn at the bottom of the world and not in the very, very negatives where you die. So yeah, you miss a little bit, but not too much. Uh, and I don't think I would have used much of that footage anyway, so there's a catch-up. And I will continue with the build.
Well, fun as that is, I've made some progress, but I kind of want to do a vault. It's been a while, and I have one crystal left. So let's do that. Now, I'm only taking one shulker box these days. My other one is being co-opted as part of the building process. I was going to say I think I'm happy for now with my equipment. Since we're going into a level whatever vault, maybe we put on this slightly better one. But now well, let's, let's do it this way. Oop. And then uh, you can go across. And then we'll wear this. <clears throat> I do have a new shield, which I just happened to find. I <laughs> feel like I'm maybe overdoing it on shields. I've got the peppermint shield, I've got another one in here, and I've got the one I'm wearing now. Anyway, let's find out what we get. Two monoliths and a creeper vault. Ooh. Ah! What the heck? By gum. I think that's one of them ambush spawners. I'm glad it fizzled. I think they always fizzle, but I died to them many a time. <laughs> so... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Beautiful POI, look at that. I'll use it. No, there you go. That's okay. Phew. Yeah, it's been... <laughs> Magnets. Brilliant. And we won... Ooh. I got a... It's an egg. Sword of his healing card is pretty good as well. Let's put that in the check later.
Uh, lesson learned. Villagers will walk off the edge and fall out of the world. So I've lost one <laughs> to that. Uh, and then lesson learned number two. When you rebuild your enclosure to stop them falling off the edge, you should light it up or they'll get attacked by zombies and things. And you'll lose a villager that way. So I made one new villager and I lost two. So I have to wait for these two. This one's going to grow up uh, and bounce on the bed a whole bunch. And then um, we won't talk about the genetics of making another one. But, you know, just be careful, okay? Be careful making your village farm in a skyblock. Because they'll just walk off the edge and you'll never see them again. Incidentally, I learned that villagers cannot open fence gates. So you can at least do this. This dude here is farming for me. He was the one who was an injured child. He's now an injured adult. Look at him go. He's just composting everything. <laughs> uh, I guess I should figure out how to make him do something other than put it in the compost. Huh? Anyway, we made a start. Ooh. I forgot I could do that. That's a good start. Uh, and then I've got more villagers ready to breed over there. Hang on. How are they doing? Oh yeah, we made a new kid, so I stole the parent and I'm cycling through. Eventually we'll have more than three because they'll stop dying all the dang time. Uh, so what'd you say? We run a vault. I want to get some more knowledge points. How are we doing on those? One knowledge shard and some of these. But six knowledge shards, so we need eight of those. So we're nearly there, and that will get us our first research. And I think we really do want to pick up pouches, although I'm thinking the vault compass has not been too necessary. I'm getting the hang of navigating. Um, Waystones is cheap. We don't need them. Elevators might be good for getting down, you know, down there, down the big thingy. Um, what else have we got? And then it's storage, right? Drawers. Storage, drawers, and pouches. Because we've got so much of certain things. Um, I went and get a lot of dirt from a, a raw vault, which was great. Now we've got a lot of dirt. Uh, I accidentally made a bunch of podzol by growing a spruce tree up here. Apparently that's <laughs> that does that. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, we want we to start unlocking research and, and building things and making stuff and maybe at some point i'll be able to actually break this creative carriage but okay so uh yeah let's, let's prepare for voltage cool i've never seen that before that was awesome i made a few i didn't want to make too many because it's going to be at the level i was when i made it and if we're leveling up this quickly it's going to we're going to out level the vaults quite quickly so i want to make sure we are prepared so you should remember to bring a bucket, because I finally got my first lava bucket from uh, Raw Vault. And I was lucky in that, because one of the POIs had a bit of lava in it. And I chucked away my water and picked it up quickly, because it's a thing. You know, I needed that. And then, of course, soul soil, for example, is something that I'm only going to get from not Raw Vaults, because it requires the, the theme. It requires the, the vault to have the right theme in order to generate in the vault in the first place. So I, I think it can't come from raw vaults, you know. I'm, it's a bit of conjecture, but it seems right. Um, so, yeah, you want to make sure you've brought... Oh, oh how far away from that? Um, basically, I want to make sure that I'm considering resources whilst I'm in proper vaults as well as in raw vaults, because it's going to come in handy. Yeah, the nugs are useful in this because we don't have an infinite farm for things like gold. Like we're gonna to build a gold farm in the Nether. We're gonna have to build a Nether. It's not, it's not as easy as it sounds. Ah! 
Come here. I'm kind of tempting to say that everything from here on out is greed. Like, I've, I've done the vault. You should get out while you're, you know, while you're still alive. But to some extent, I'm actually here for the loot and not for the, you know, the, the achievement of beating the vault. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, winning is can't be either here nor there with the amount of gear that I've already got. What I really want is things like knowledge shards and other vault loot. But which isn't available <laughs> from the completion crate and also completing the vault. As Mike has pointed out in our uh, multiplayer series, if you complete it, you level up faster. Which is not ideal. So it's not always the greatest thing to do. You might want to stay at a lower level. They're not fast enough. I put an extra level of efficiency and it's barely fast enough. Yeah, level up. See, with that, now all of these are a level below me. It's not as durable, which is weird. It's the same tier, so it's got the same range of randomness. So that makes some sense. I haven't got a spare one, so let's put that in there. Oh, it's a good transmog. <laughs> Lol. However... <laughs> Point one damage up. And it's got stun instead of... It's got holy instead of stun. I don't think it's good enough. Nope. I think it's time to make a recycler because I can't. <laughs> I have no room for the stuff I don't want. Uh, how long have I been collecting this stuff? Recycler. What recycler? It's reasonably cheap. Let's get making. We need more lava, actually. Hmm. Bit of chromatic steel, some vault essence, and some netherite. All of which we can do. Except maybe the steel. We only get three like this. Need more. Carbon. We should set up a bounty, actually. Let's have a look at bounty table. Bounty table. Because. I and a loom. Easy. Look at that. Ah, that's much better. With a bounty table, we can get more out of each vault that we run. So if you have a look at this. It's got a skull on it, as you'd expect. So what we can do, we can do 13 crying obsidian. Excuse me. <laughs> what is this? How do you expect me to find this? These aren't, these don't spawn. In this is nether stuff, Bastion. The nether is a sky block as well. That's a problem. We can eventually make it with a mod with mechanism, but that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. We can abandon it actually, let's do that. So if you abandon it. I like this. It's a little bit slow. But um now you see this slot has got uh, abandoned penalty eight hours. So in eight hours, real hours, so we can leave and come back. 
um, that will be available again. Three food to die or four volt meat. And all of these, look at the, see the what they get you? Um, sometimes they get you what we're looking for, which is the carbon. So XP, XP, mining one. Let's find the volt meat one. Normally these are complete any vault, and then it's just like that's all of them. <laughs> uh, got a bit of a poor roll on that, but that's okay. How do you feel about doing another vault now then? We are looking for carbon. So really we want to find, I think, ornate chests. Why is this? This has got to be a creeper vault. Should have brought some buckets to make more uh, lava if that's likely. I don't know if that's likely here. So should have brought some buckets. We have to think about that sort of thing. Should have done this before I left the vault. Before I joined the vault as well. Still spawning. <laughs> Sorry. Enough. Quiet. Come on, hit them. found me this place. Look at this. Inscription. Unidentified leggings. Look at that. 200. I haven't got time to look around here. I've never seen one of these before. It's amazing. And I haven't got time. <laughs> and I haven't got the money. thought so. There's a huge bloke here. Look. Did you not come with any ads? Nope, nope, okay. Let me leave now. It's not worth the effort to agree. Good chunk of XP from that. No progress towards our <laughs> item discovery. Uh, I forgot to record opening it. I just opened it. What did we win? This helmet. These boots. These boots. An axe. Let's see. Kind of okay. Good increased damage. Also increased damage. I do like increased damage. More armor. Less health. More armor, maybe? Don't think this is good. Worse. Okay. <laughs> I think all of this is worse. Nope. 